There isn't a ton of stuff dropping this week, but as always, there are a few things you should definitely look out for. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is The Heat Check. Today actually kicked off with two hot ones. The first being the Nike Flyknit Racer Knit by Night. Basically, this is just a black and dark gray version of the Flyknit Racer that Nike introduced back in 2012. To be totally honest, these are probably gone already. It is the first time Nike dropped them in this colorway and there was a lot of hype around them. So pricing for that pair is 150 if you want the 2012 style on them. On the basketball side of things, Nike Basketball is bringing the Kobe 11 to life in what they are calling the Mamba Curio colorway. These look more like Barcelona than Mamba Curio to me, but I doubt Nike can actually actually call them that for whatever reason. The uppers on these are fly knit as well and you can grab those today as well for $220. Switching to Friday, tomorrow, the folks at Adidas Originals have a little NMD love coming down the pipeline with two looks at the sneaker in what is being called the Winter Wool Prime Knit Pack. The first model is the NMD R1, which is the runner styled model, and like the name says, it features a wool based prime knit, which should keep you a bit warmer as we approach the colder months. Uh, the black and gray should work well since people also tend to dress a bit darker in the colder months as well. If you'd rather have the Adidas NMD City Sock or the CS1, as they call it officially, they will arrive tomorrow as well in the wool variety. Color Otherwise, they're almost exactly the same and it really is just a matter of style when it comes to which pair you're actually going to cop for the weekend. The runner will cost you $170 while the city sock will cost you $190. Saturday has us prepping for three releases, two from Jordan Brand and one from Nike Basketball. On the Nike Basketball front, we have the Kyrie 2 Australian. Earlier this week, I actually said that the color was inspired by the flag, which is wrong. It's actually inspired by the country's official colors. My apologies to any Aussies out there that I may have offended. Uh, the tour yellow upper is balanced with the black, and then there's obviously that white on the midsole. Those will cost you the usual 120. On the Jordan side, we have two Jordan 12s making their way to retail. The first pair is for the ladies and features the Jordan Retro in a light bone and plum fog colorway, basically a light pink. For some reason, the leather on this pair actually looks really great. Those will cost you $160. For the guys, Jordan has the Air Jordan 12 black and white or nylon as everyone else is calling it. The upper features a nylon material for the majority of it and then the rest is the usual leather that we usually see. I really like the look on these. Finish Line is going to have these on Saturday and they're going to cost you $190. Kobe to Kyrie, Prime Knit to Fly Knit, it's all there this weekend. Be sure to hit the links down below for all the shoes that I talked about in the video today. And be sure to hit that like button and share the news. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past. But is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh. The last of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, but this time you get the perspective of the designer of the shoe, which take things up 